Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the animation I'm gonna be making today. If you watched my last video, you saw me make this scene, and you also briefly saw me 3D model the car that is in that shot. Now I wanted to use the same model, but for something else, so I thought I would make a bit more of a high paced shot, which is the one you just saw, um, you know, with a bit more movement. And I also wanted to play around with mixing 3D and 2D, which you all know by now that I love doing. In Cinema 4D, I began by creating a simple landscape on which the car could sit in. I used a few variations of the landscape object and placed them around the scene. I made them relatively flat, but instead of using a simple plane, the landscape gives some variations to the floor height. So by combining several of these and stretching them out, I built this desert floor. When the camera is on a really low angle, you can see how the landscape objects create these little hills, which I think looks good. The road was just a simple plane that I made really long on one axis. I brought in the car from my previous video and then I drew out a spline using the spline pen tool. This spline will be the path that my car follows as it moves. Using the align to spline tag on my car object, I can make that happen. I can then animate the car from one side of the spline to the other using the position percentage within that tag. I set it to tangential as well, so that the car is always facing or following the curvature of the spline. I also made the car angle when it takes the curve here, um, since it comes in with such a high speed. I also animated my camera to add even more speed to the shot. I have it at a low angle and moving quickly over the road surface in the opposite direction of the car, making things feel really quick. I also made a separate shot from above where you get this sort of helicopter angle. After adding a few painterly textures to these and rendering them out, this is what it looked like when I took it into Photoshop. I started on a frame in the middle of the animation and painted in some loose sketches of some characters and smoke effects around the car. These were all drawn on video layers so I could then move on to the other frames and draw in all the characters in each of them, together with the smoke and so on. When you have a 3D setup with motion like this, it makes the drawing of the characters a lot easier, as you just have to place them within that 3D scene. Since they are holding on to the car, for example, I kinda knew where each body part will go for each frame, and all I have to do is imagine the forces that are pushing them to one side or the other. It is actually really quite fun. After, however, the long process of drawing each frame, this is what it looked like. I then used the sketch layer of the characters as a reference as I painted the final colored version on top on yet another video layer. I drew my characters without outlines for this one. It makes things a little faster and I think it's fun to try some different styles every now and then. So that was the reason for doing that. Thank you. 
I was imagining some kind of zombie characters trying to hold on to the car as it's driving. The guy on the top of the hood has sort of been cut in half, so he kind of just lays there before finally getting sucked in under the wheels. As we cut to the next scene, we see the instant splatter of blood on the road as he gets run over. I of course had to go through the same process for the second shot as well. It was just a little easier as there were less details on the wider shot. Here is the final sequence again, with all the painted characters. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little quicker than the previous ones, so let me know in the comments if you like this format and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.